Hi, welcome to my channel, Carmel Divine, the digital girl divine. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are here, know that it is for a reason the most high divine needed you to hear this message today. And I'm here to divine message to relay that message to you directly, okay? So in today's video, I want to stress the fact that there is a reason why I say this in every video, that there is a reason for everything, okay? And this is your confirmation today. I want to start off a metaphysical series on touching on the topic of everything that is around us on this earth all of the elements the trees the birds everything has a set purpose and divine plan and divine meaning for it okay god is not as complex as we want to make god to be um but this world can be very complex if you want to make it but there's ways that you can decode and understand when the divine is trying to communicate with you so whether that's through you yourself whether that's through the people around you whether that's through animals birds the colors that you see um the emotions that you feel the smells everything is has a divine reason for it okay so i want to make that a stress i want to stress that and make that a point in this video and the videos to come so make sure that you are subscribing if you're feeling my vibe okay and also click that bell notification so you can stay tuned with whatever videos that i'm going to be posting next on these topics okay so this is a grow with me channel okay so i'm not trying to be nobody's teacher or spirit guru or anything i really want to learn as you are learning and as well as whatever information that i do gain um through whether it's through my own personal experiences or the information that i gain through research i want to bring it here to this channel to kind of help you with your journey and help you with whenever with ever studies that you are learning so this is a metaphysical channel this is a very spiritual channel where i do readings and i just do commentary on the spiritual on the metaphysical matters okay and i do want to make it a point that whatever it is that you are going through whatever it is that you feel like is happening to you is actually happening for you okay and it's for your highest good it's for the divine's purpose okay if you're on this channel if you're on my page right now just know that we glowing up be glowing up okay <laughs> i'm so excited to do this video but today um go ahead and get your pens your paper your little notepad um, we're gonna do some studying today okay we're gonna do some metaphysical meanings of colors okay so if you're interested in knowing what are the metaphysical the spiritual meanings of colors why did divine create certain colors go ahead and continue watching okay also this is not just gonna be the metaphysical <laughs> These are not just going to be the metaphysical meanings of colors, but I also want to stress and also want to kind of see or tell you what these colors could say about your aura or about your personality. Okay, so your aura also has colors. Okay, so what could this, what could these colors mean about you and your personality in general, personally? Okay, so we're going to start off with the color red okay so red is associated with the root chakra if you want to talk about chakras it's also associated with mars the planet of mars if you want to tap into astrology and astronomy and also associated with the day tuesday okay because mars is rules over the day tuesday okay so these tuesday is a very lucky day to wear red if you're interested in that and also if you're trying to manifest on tuesday okay red is a very passionate color being that it is associated with the planet mars it is all about passion all about drive all about initiative okay taking initiative action okay it's also associated with fire the element of fire and the element of wands and tarot as well so it's all about quick movement um encouragement um activity just being very driven very forceful very fiery energy okay so the color red definitely does um symbolize passion creativity sexual energy okay being that it is also associated with the root chakra it definitely does encourage it definitely does encourage um emotions like love anger and exhilaration as well okay it also encourages appetite for sensual experiences so sensual experiences such as eating food and um sex as well so yeah so if you notice that there's a lot of restaurants that have the color red in it what's the biggest what is the biggest restaurant 
that you can think of. The first one that comes to your head, go ahead and comment down below. What is the biggest restaurant that has the color red in it that we all love, that we all used to love because I'm vegan now. I'm happy about it, don't get me wrong. But <laughs> definitely be careful when, when it comes to your feng shui and putting red into your kitchen and stuff like that because it could encourage your appetite. It could encourage you to eat more just because is associated with the root chakra and that's what it psychologically does to us when we see the color red okay as well as um like i was saying about the restaurants like mcdonald's arby's uh um, jolly bees or every almost every fast food restaurant has a color red in it and that is for a reason okay that the restaurant wants you to be excited wants you to be exhilarated wants you to have wants to encourage you to kind of come and eat and eat, eat 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 everything that is in there okay so yeah that's what that's what the psychological um meaning behind that is if you were ever wondering if you ever noticed so yeah also um the color red can be a sign of danger as we can see with the stop signs and danger signs that we see are the color red is when when it comes to traffic tells you to stop okay stop in case of danger excuse me so yeah also associated with power bravery and strength and assertiveness like i was saying before okay so the color red when it comes to your aura or your personality if it is your favorite color you're a very outgoing person um very upbeat you might find it hard to stand still like or you might have a little bit of ADHD or if it's not that you just have a hard time standing still you have a very high energy a high libido as well so yeah you're very sexy very fiery person I'm feeling like okay and you also could be very intense you also could have a bit of a hot temper and also may even be a little bit impulsive but shit hey we all need that fiery energy okay so you could be a fire sign if you do like the color red you can definitely have fire highly aspected in your chart Leo Aries Sagittarius especially Aries because Aries is ruled by Mars okay so as well as also you gotta be very athletic if you like the color red um the color red is very good for um athletic events or athletic environments so it's very good to very inspire that um that energy that forceful energy that competitive energy that makes you want to yeah get get pumped up for <laughs> your event or pumped up for your athletic event in general okay you're definitely someone who puts a lot of effort into your work a lot of effort into your activity okay so that's the color red the metaphysical meaning of the color red moving on to the color orange okay now the color orange is also associated with the sun the fire energy It's associated with jupiter mercury and it is associated with the sacral chakra so the sacral chakra is right there um below your navel right there in your pelvic area okay so it also deals with emotions and in sexuality and creativity as well okay also with energy and fertility and abundance it also symbolizes rejuvenation success inventiveness satisfaction health wellness um, health and wellness and orange is actually a mixture of the colors red and yellow, which yellow is going, is going to be the next color that we talk about. Red and yellow mixed together is like, we have the fiery, the energetic energy of red. And then we have the intuitive, the very curious, the intellectual color of yellow mixed together. So orange definitely does, um, it's very sociable color, you know, it's so friendly it's so encour it encourages personal recovery and personal growth as well so it definitely um helps you express it helps you express your beliefs and also helps boost your self-esteem and makes you feel more content okay so orange um psychologically it taps into our instincts taps into our strength our spontaneity and motivation as well okay? or if it's your favorite color if orange is your favorite color um, you could also be a very outgoing person, very friendly, um, very approachable. Um, you're a very strong-minded and very social person. You're expressive. Um, and you are very tapped into your emotional and mental energy, okay? So you definitely are aligned in that place where you 
come you come into contact with your mind and your ment your mental and also you like to encourage your emotions to kind of come into play as well so that's the color orange if your favorite color is orange um go ahead and like this video and comment down below okay make sure you're commenting down your favorite colors okay i want to know about my viewers i want to know about my subscribers what is your favorite color so i can know a little bit more about your personality let's let's talk let's talk okay <laughs> so the next color we're talking about is yellow yellow is also associated with the planet of jupiter okay and also jupiter is a planet of expansion it's a planet of support it's a planet of um guidance and wise counsel it's it's very abundant okay so it's a lot of abundance coming in when it comes to yellow and also it's associated with the sun as well so that fire energy so the three lower chakras the um solar plexus chakra is associated with the color yellow this is in western you know beliefs but you know we can tap in and talk more about what the color yellow is and other beliefs and other cultures please comment down below and let me know information that i might not know or I might not have expressed in this video which this is very very surface level i feel like i just kind of threw together some notes um that i kind of associated with these colors okay so please feel free to give me some more information on in the comments down below okay so yeah the color yellow um is very much associated with happiness joy creativity um it's very inspirational color it's also associated with your um intuition as well it's like your second intuition or another form of in in intuition because it deals with your perception on things okay um also it is a color of confidence and manifestation and also a color of independence okay so when i think of yellow i think of leos for some reason i guess because of the sun um the sun rules over the sign of leo so if you do like the color yellow you could be a leo or if you do like the color orange or yellow you, you could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, okay? So, psychologically, it does um, it does encourage and activates our logical thinking, uh, our confidence, as well as our creative thinking and our creative and inventiveness, okay? Creating ideas, it helps us inspire and gives much of a curiosity into our, in our to ourselves. So we're wanting to look more into things, we're wanting to study more into things. If we think, when you see the color yellow, when you think about the color yellow, it is probably the brightest color, you know? It's, once you see yellow, if, you, if yellow is the only color of the other color in the room, you're going to see yellow first, if that makes sense. If you get what I'm saying, like yellow is the brightest color in the room because it's ruled by the sun. The sun literally is the brightest planet and we literally all revolve around the sun. So the yellow is a very attractive color. So it does definitely deal with manifestation, okay? So yellow is a great color to wear if you're trying to attract happiness, you're trying to attract more confidence and abundance into your life as well as trying to attract more ideas and more creative thinking and all of that type of stuff. So it's also good for communication as well. Okay, so yeah, yellow also helps us bring a new outlook into our lives. It also gives us mental clarity as well because it shines so bright. You know, the sun shines bright, it gives us clarity. It helps us see things better, okay? And also sees new, new perspectives and um, heightens our intuition, like I was saying before. What this could say about your aura and your personality. You are very independent, you like to analyze, you like to idealize, and you have liked, you like to um, analyze details very well, I'm getting. Very great at communicating, you're very spontaneous, confident, and you like to stand out, you're a very curious person, and you love to seek truth, okay? So that's what I'm getting. That's what I got for you for the color of yellow, so yeah moving on to the color green green the color green is associated with mercury venus um mercury and venus those are the planets that it's associated with and the heart chakra okay also associated with the days wednesday and friday so green is a good color to wear on wednesday and friday if you're trying to manifest if you just want to wear a lucky color green is a good color to wear green is actually one of my favorite colors i love the color green <laughs> so yeah let me know what that, that might say about me down in the comments okay so yeah being that green deals with venus and the heart chakra it definitely um is a color that is associated with compassion healing love um peace nurturing um 
and also springtime growth renewal okay also is associated with money okay and yeah and venus does rule the second house of money if we're getting into astrology and needle charts so definitely rules over resources money and all that types of stuff so also deals with people who have good intentions balancing of your head and your heart okay and also it's very uh centered color it is a mixture of the color yellow and blue which blue will be the next color that we get into with yellow being a very curious inspirational um confident color and also um very uh, tapped into intuition and tapped into um wanting to shine wanting to look more into um the truth as well and then we have the color blue which is very calming color a very safe color to feel okay blue is very um elusive and also it can be um it, deal, it deals with water so very calming energy so it kind of is a, is a blend of that energy blend of that sporadic confident spontaneous energy and that calming energy so green kind of comes in with that healing energy kind of calms you down and also brings a lot of creativity as well okay so yeah so it also green i'm seeing that green as well calms the mind and helps soothe the pituitary gland okay in our brains so that definitely is a good color to put into a, your feng shui it's good to have a lot of plants and colors and greens around you to kind of calm your brain calm your mind especially if you're someone who runs miles per minute in your brain <laughs> green is a really good color to have to calm you down and to help you tap more into that creative energy so yeah for your aura and your personality what this could say about you if you like the color green or if your aura is green um you are a very sympathetic and a giving person um you're an active listener you're diplomatic cooperative um but you should also be mindful of envy and avarice because green is associated with money and then the mundane the physical world okay so yeah so money is definitely associated with those types of things and also you could do you know having that green eye syndrome okay so be very careful um when you're wearing the color green or you know have a lot of green around you okay okay you are also a lifetime student okay and you're it's very hard for you to kind of tolerate disingenuous people because you are very giving you're very sympathetic yourself so it's hard for you to kind of um, tolerate these kind of people uh, people being fake with you because you're also very intuitive and you really do care and you tap into your emotions okay and because it's, it's very hard for you to hide your emotions as well okay and you're a very observant person and you really like to take ri risk um you don't like too much chatter okay you like calm environments okay and you relatively are a very successful person when it comes to children as well and you're very good with kids okay yeah like i'm saying so yeah, that's the color metaphysical meaning of the color green. Now, the next color we're going to be talking about is the color blue. Blue is associated with Jupiter, the moon, also associated with Saturn as well, okay? If we're dealing with astrology and astronomy, those are the planets that blue is associated with and also is associated with the throat chakra, okay? Also is associated with the days Thursday and Saturday. If you want to wear the color blue, um, those are lucky days to wear the color blue. If you want to try and manifest anything in particular with the color blue, like more uh, communication skills or trying to tap into your intuitive abilities, this is a good day to wear the color blue, Thursdays and Saturdays. So blue being that it is associated with the throat chakra, it does def definitely um, is associated with truth, speaking your truth, self-expression, also with communication, sincerity, peace, calming energy, also with loyalty, and just communication of all kinds. It helps connect us to the divine and to this, um, into the higher self as well, and also does with crossing over. Now, psychologically, blue helps make people make make people feel very safe. It helps people who are um, having trouble sleeping as well because it's calming. It deals with the moon and the moon, um, you know, how the moon controls water and the tides and stuff like that. So it definitely does help you control your emotions, helps you calm your emotions, helps you kind of um, tap into your 
faith as well and studying faith and also is good for praying prayer and meditation as well so um, definitely go by the water go look outside look at the sky the sky is blue if you're feeling kind of anxious if you're feeling having troubles like you're sleeping definitely blue is a good color to work with okay getting blue crystals and stuff like that okay will definitely help you sleep definitely help you calm your energy and calm your emotions okay so what could this color blue say about your aura and your personality let's see okay you are very you could be a very highly sensitive person um you have a lot of self-control you're not that spontaneous okay but um but in it this being that you're not as spontaneous and you have a lot of self-control this doesn't manifest transformation too well or not going to say it too well but it doesn't manifest like transformative energy easily because um it makes you kind of think deliberately okay also you need to keep in mind if your favorite color is blue or you like the color blue you need to keep in mind that you need to kind of tap more into your needs before the needs of others because you're someone who you are very tapped into your emotions and you're very truthful you're a very sincere person um and you like to communicate and connect with people but you have to make sure that you are definitely looking over your own needs before others needs okay and your expertise your expertise could very well be knowledge okay you are a very knowledgeable person okay so um blue is one of my favorite colors as well too so what's good what's good blue blue put some blue hearts down in the comments let's see what's up okay i want to know who my favorite color is blue okay i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna, I'm gonna be telling y'all my favorite colors i have a lot of favorite colors but mainly you know we already know black green and blue so far okay so let's get into the next color which is purple purple the color purple is also associated with the planet of jupiter okay and the day of thursday purple is associated with the third eye chakra and the crown chakra third eye is right here between our eyebrows and the crown chakra is right above our heads okay so definitely a color that deals with your intuition definitely um your psychic gifts as well as psychic awareness okay and purple is a very uh, kind color okay very soft color as well as um it also encourages peace of mind and sensuality okay and insight psychism mysticism okay it is a mixture of the color blue and the color red so blue being that calming energy blue being that good communication uh, color uh, uh, color that makes you feel safe makes you feel sane also calms your mind and calms your emotions and the color red which very much entices and encourages passion and encourages spirit okay um, and good at taking initiative those colors combined make purple so it makes um, very good to encourage peace of mind and also bring new insights into your life okay also connecting our souls to the physical world okay so connecting our spiritual connecting our souls to this physical world okay so keeping ourselves grounded and also being able to connect with the divine at the same time so very balanced energy okay so it's very important to keep that mind energy that um third eye energy and the crown energy balanced okay so we're not always up in the air and we're also not too 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 um stuck to this right um stuck to this world and to this physical mundane energy okay so what could the color purple say about your aura and your personality okay you are very intuitive okay purple is one of my favorite colors as well <laughs> okay so you are very very intuitive um you're a very kind compassionate person you are very loyal and you love to be of service to others okay and you need to also be a mindful that you avoid psychic and financial vampires okay people who like to drain you of your energy and your finances because you are so giving you are so um very sensual very um very uh, very much a person that is connected to your intuition and understanding okay so you're someone who definitely does very is a forgiving person i'm getting like you definitely often forgive and forget because you have a deeper understanding of things okay so when people hurt you 
you kind of have compassion for them and you definitely just kind of like, okay, well, this is why they did what they did because they're hurt from their childhood. And that can kind of get to you a little bit, okay? So be mindful of these vampires and people kind of take advantage of that energy within you because they feel like they can get over you because they know that you're like this, okay? They know that you're probably going to forgive them. They know that you're very connected to your intuition and they know that you know that they shit. So, <laughs> excuse me excuse me but yeah but yeah if you love the color purple you also someone who loves freedom purple is a very royal color too especially if we're dealing with um the planet of jupiter it's a very royal color so you could be a very royal real person you love your freedom you love peace as well and you can definitely be a lone wolf you're a dreamer and you're an idealist okay and sometimes we can get lost in fantasies, okay? So be careful with the color purple and wearing too much purple and having too much purple in your surroundings because it definitely can tap into that fantasy, definitely tap into that mystical world, okay? That fantasy world. And also, you're naturally drawn to psychic studies and mysteries and spiritual questions. And you're also a very prosperous person. You love tapping into that prosperity energy and you are a leader so like i was saying that royal energy that king that queen energy very royal person okay very leader um very um much a natural born leader okay so that was the color purple now going into the next color which is black <laughs> my favorite color <laughs> okay the color of black okay now there's a lot of misconceptions about the color black i feel like personally and as well as the fact that color black is definitely um already associated with death is already a color of absence so it's something that is um definitely associated with the shadows and darker natures um so it's naturally also associated with sadness and the unknown okay because the color is black is a very powerful color okay the color black definitely um is associated with the hidden knowledges okay hidden truth hidden wisdom as well so all of the things that are hidden so definitely um also is associated with the planet saturn and pluto and the days of the week associated with is saturday so the best day the best day that you can wear black is saturday um it's a very good day to wear to wear the color black and also is um already associated with so it could be associated with Scorpio and Capricorn. So if you're a Scorpio and Capricorn, you definitely probably like the color black. Sorry, I'm gonna wait until. Definitely is a very powerful color depending on. <sighs> Sorry, you guys, I live in New York. <laughs> Very powerful color, depending on the use of this power, okay? You have to be very careful when wearing the color black because you can get power hungry. Um, but I feel like, depending on the power, it also represents elegance. It also represents um, personal power and authority, okay? So, it also is also a good color for discipline, so being sophisticated, adaptability, okay? So, what this could say about your aura and your personality, I would I don't see too many black auras, you know what I'm saying? Like black is not really a very rare color to um have an aura. I feel like if your if your aura is black, then you probably don't people can't really tap into your aura too well because you are very protective. It's like a cloak, okay? Or you just a really dark ass person, okay? <laughs> so that's that scorpion energy coming through, that Capricorn energy coming through. But it doesn't have to be, okay? Don't let anybody tell you who you are, what you are, just because of the color that you wear. I've seen the sweetest people be dressed down in black with spikes and just really dark colors and dark makeup and all that stuff. So yeah, you know that doesn't really define you as you as who you truly are. Okay, this is depending on the power and the use of this color. Okay, so. If you're a person that wears the black, you can um, come off as very intimidating to people um, or rebellious, okay? Because black is the color of rebellious. As we, we as we see with the Black Panthers, um, they wore all black. They were very rebellious against the government. They're, you're very business oriented, a very serious person. You may experience greater levels of success, okay, than anticipated, okay? You have autonomous will. So yeah, you have, uh, 
the uh, you have a pure focus on taking initiative and um, gaining control over your life and over your um, environment as well okay you definitely can be a more conservative person you definitely like more predictability predictable um, events or predictable situations um, than to be adventurous sometimes okay you have to make sure that you balance out this more serious nature about you because you can be tedious you can be kind it can be tedious it can be pretty gloomy okay so but as well if you are a person that wears a lot of black you demand <laughs> i mean you demand um a position of authority okay a position of power and you, it doesn't always received too well because you probably are uh, people may feel like you're trying to control them but that's really not the case you just really demand your position and your authority um energy also um you're very protective over your own space you probably like to be in your own room um you're very reclusive you're a very mysterious person okay and you're very organized and calculated worker okay um you might have this this color black is not really something that i feel like um people would wear all the time it really to it really can just be more of a phase okay i know me in my personal life i've had phases where i wear a lot of black um phases in my life it's not like i wore black all the time every day all day but there's definitely phases certain phases in my life maybe a year or so that i would wear the color black okay and then it would just be just colorful as clothing and stuff like that because i'm very spontaneous as well so yeah you sometimes you probably usually wear the color black because you feel more vulnerable and you kind of want to hide that insecurity um and the color of black can be over can like i said can be very overwhelming and rebellious so you definitely could be a rebellious soul okay definitely getting leo energy for some reason either way if you're a Scorpio or Capricorn, like I was saying, you definitely could like this color black, but you don't have to be. Comment down below. Comment some black cards down below if your color is black. Okay. But psychologically, this can be very formal color. Okay. It's very mysterious and also very seductive color. Okay. Um, black is a very attractive color. It's good for working with attraction as well. So, yes, it can also be very depressing because people people wear black at um funerals is probably the worst color that you can wear at a funeral but <laughs> black can draw attention to failure secrets um fears leadership okay regulation authority okay can be very intimidating but it does inspire confidence okay so yeah that's what the color black can mean about you and your personality if you like to wear black okay so i just kind of expose myself just a little bit but it's okay it's okay we're family here i love you you love me and that's all that matters okay now the last but not least color that i'm going to be talking about is the color white okay the color white is associated with the planet of venus and the day of friday and also associated with the crown chakra okay so white um as we all know symbolizes purity um and flawlessness virtue fullness okay and new beginnings okay it connects us to the divine as well being that it is associated with the crown chakra and it amplifies magic and personal awareness it also is associated with hope and relieves our stress death transition changes endings okay and beginnings it brings us clarity and cleanliness okay psychologically it liberates and expresses sound judgment and helps relieve stress and bring sense of hope to us so too much white can also bring a sense of barrenness immobility and flat emotions okay so it definitely um definitely is not too safe to wear white too much or all white or being in like all white room all the time because it can bring some type of dullness into your life but it definitely does help inc decrease anxiety okay so what can the color white say about your aura and your personality? Definitely if you have a white aura, you are an extremely pure person. You're most likely a child or an animal, <laughs> okay? So yeah, not so many people have a white aura, but you can definitely have a very close color to white, okay? And you have a desire to keep, you have a desire to keep things tidy. If this, is, if this is your favorite color, you have a huge desire to keep things tidy or clean. Um, 
you are very upbeat and also spontaneous as well. You're patient, okay? You're self-reliant. And you also can be kind of quite hard on yourself to kind of keep things kind of perfect. Okay, so be careful. Don't be too hard on yourself trying to be flawless, okay? Because ain't nobody flawless. Everybody got some type of flaws with them, okay? But you also may seek solitude, okay? When, when relationships get too complicated, okay? And you're a very innocent person or a youthful person as well, okay? Those are the metaphysical meanings of colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If anything resonated, if you felt like any of this information was true, not true, comment down below. Let me know. Like this video, just like this video. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> okay, subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.